guys, welcome to The Awakening. Welcome to Moving On TV, welcome to The Awakening, Wake, welcome to the dark into the light. Um, today, <laughs> it's interesting, um, why are people not allowed to have an opinion anymore? It's really interesting, I think this is probably mirroring me because I find it difficult to agree with people that don't have the same opinion as me. So mirroring is an interesting thing, isn't it? Um, today I put something out on Facebook to say that I think you guys need to take care of yourself, look after yourself, protect yourself, because the next few months are going to be very telling. There's going to be a lot going on. There's, they're going to do whatever they can to stop uh, President Trump from getting in in America. This is how I feel. And so everything, they're going to do whatever they can. Now, they failed miserably with COVID. And they're still trying to push other things, which I did a big program about, which I hope you can watch and share. And I spent, you know, ages trying to edit it. So I cut it into two. I was in the darkness with that one because I'm on my own doing all the editing, doing all the work. And I thought, you know what, you're going to stop and you're going to bed. And I just left it to export and it exported on its own, got up and it was done. So now I'm doing part two. But coming back to what I was saying, when you're true to what you believe in, and I really do believe that what's going on at the moment in America is people rising up in different ways, but troublemakers have created this. Troublemakers have created it in order to take your mind off the real things that matter, off the awakening, off what's, what's been happening to children, uh, off the um, radiation thing, lots and lots of stuff. And also, um, I have a right to say that what's happening is not actually true, that a lot of it is actually being staged. I have a right to say that. Now, you may agree or disagree, that's up to you. You may say, thank you, do not tag me, and that is fine. I am not here to convince you. I am here to live a good life, and I am here to take everyone from the dark into the light, explaining to you that you have a right to be yourself. You have a right to say what you feel. You have a right to live your life but you have no right to impose it on others. And so when I put a message on my status, it's my status, mine, okay? <laughs> it's mine. And if you don't like what I say, you can comment, but you know, you can comment and that's fine. And you could say what you feel and I could say what I feel, but please don't report it and say, that I'm upsetting people or abusing the fact that I've got a, a page to say what I feel. No, that is not okay. That is not free speech. I'm not telling you what to say. I'm telling you to come on and debate what I'm saying, to see, to give out all the information because that is freedom of speech. So welcome to the awakening, guys. And welcome to the fact that a lot of people can't cope with other people's opinions if they go against them. Okay. So all I'm saying is that I am doing my research and I'm watching and I'm looking and I'm learning and I'm studying and there seems to be a lot of notifications coming on and this thing is freezing on and off. So I'm going to keep it brief today, but I'm going to read a card to try and help you stay sane in this crazy world. And I'm saying to you that I have a right to put out the information. I have a right to do that. It is my human right. It is free speech. As long as I'm not talking about hurting you or violence towards you as a human being or animals or the environment. And that's not what I do on Moving On TV. So I am going to pull a card now and look at how we can stay sane in this crazy world today. Have you eaten? Because I, I just had um, a huge 
uh, juice with green um, green powder in it. <laughs> right. Um, for oxygen, I've had my vitamin C, I've had my black seed oil, I've had my collodial silver, I've had my magnesium, and I've had my apricot kernels. So I mix that with chocolate, dark chocolate, and almond milk, absolutely delicious. Okay, today, wish everyone peace. You see the synchronicity? Wish everyone peace. It's card number 26. Today, you're going to learn that what you give, you receive back. And as I said, I wish you all peace. I just want you to protect yourself. I just want you to check things out, to be your own reporter. A Course in Miracles teaches me to wish people peace. And because we are all connected, I will give this peace back too. Even if someone is not very nice to you, in your mind, keep wishing them peace. You'll be amazed at the result. This is an enlightened card. You chose it because you're on the path. I wish everyone peace today. I wish you peace today. So let's sit and relax and listen to the beautiful rendition of Mark Smith of my son, The Awakening. Relax and meditate to it. And I wish you peace. I wish you peace. Namaste. Peace, shalom, salam, shanti. And do your research and don't let anyone drag you one way or another. Peaceful demonstrations are going to make changes. Peaceful demonstrations are making changes. Changes are coming, big changes. And only love and compassion and gratitude and bartering and equality and making sure that we all have this, what is necessary for us to stay well in this crazy world while our fellow man joins us in love where there's no possibility of anything else it's coming and that's why the darkness is fighting harder so try not to be part of it try not to add to the conflict and if i put something out there because i believe it's true then that is my right to do that. You don't have to believe it and you can come and debate other things. All right. Thank you. I wish you peace. I'm going to do some Falandafa while we do this. And this is for the respect of my friend, Mitchell Nicholas Gerber, that had the guts to go out there and expose what's happening to the beautiful Falun Dafa people, the taking of their organs, etc. Lots of them, and no one goes on the street demonstrating and killing those, killing those.